welcome to this edition of Hebrew Nation News on YouTube. Every week, the world seems to be descending deeper and faster into end-time events. Listen in as Bonnie Harvey covers the news highlights of the week for a quick overview. Remember, we know not the day nor the hour, but we do know the season. Reporting to you live on YouTube is this week's report. Countdown to the second time. Welcome, everyone, to another uh, edition of Countdown. This is to be just fast because this is a holiday week here, and I already uh, have company. So, uh, despite all odds, uh, this is the president-elect, and I'm not sure who he is. Is he a plant? Uh, Just reading his lines very well. Is he a patriot? Uh, Is he a Manchurian gone wrong? Is he, once once the globalists realized that Hillary was unsuited to be a global leader because of all the disclosures, uh, scandals stuck to her like Velcro balls, and they realized that they could no longer use him, they allowed him to become president? I don't know. I guess we will find out. Um... I have a question. How can he say these things and live? No open borders, no trade agreements that rob the U.S., halt immigration, reinvestigate 9-11, term limits, freezing of federal employees, uh, cancel payment to the U.N. on climate change, don't sign the the U.N. climate change. Uh, The response to the globalist world has been horror. Uh, cancel every unconstitutional executive action by Obama that would completely undo uh, the Obama legacy. Replace uh, Justice Scalia uh, with a conservative, with a true conservative. Um, Cancel all funding to sanctuary cities if they refuse to honor federal law. Remove two million criminal illegals. Repeal Obamacare. uh, Screening programs for immigrants. Restore, I mean, this is a wish list of, 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 you know, everyone who loves America. This is a wish list. Ethics reform. Uh, Even uh, the failure to uh, recognize a Palestinian state that takes um, that takes uh, uh, land won by Israel uh, in the wars. Uh, David Friedman is a Trump advisor on Israel, and this is him quoting uh, Trump's feelings. His Trump's feelings about Israel is that it is a robust democracy. He does not think it's an American imperative. Uh, for there to be an independent state. So, uh, it, uh, and that that would absolutely uh, shake uh, the globalists to the core. Uh, it, it is very concerning uh, that, um, you know, a Trump presidency was foretold in The Simpsons. This is back in 2000. Um, just the fact that it was foretold in some of the... Uh, the pictures are eerily similar, just eerily similar. This makes me wonder if, if he is a Manchurian candidate that has just gone wrong. He wasn't supposed to win. He was just supposed to uh, divide the Republican Party. Uh, yet uh, the unexpected happened. Uh, he was uh, accepted, uh, championed. Uh, he, uh, he became a hero. Uh, uh, I don't know the truth here. Uh, here's another one. Uh, he came up against a female candidate. Um, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. Here's an Illuminati card, unfortunately, apparently showing a bullet whizzing by his head. And the Illuminati card says at any time, any place, our snipers can drop you. And that is certainly a, a, a horrifying thought. Uh, but that is what the globalists do, as we have seen so many times in the past. Uh, you either obey the Western bankers and the Western financial elite, or you die. Uh, just like um, uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln, he refused to reinstall, reinstate the federal, the uh, central bank. Uh, he was killed. He he was not supposed to unify the North and the South. The United States would be far more uh, manipulable if it had been divided into two countries. Uh, 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 Kennedy, uh, Martin Luther King. Uh, Martin Luther King was a true champion, a true hero, and uh, they they can't stand that. They, they cannot stand. They they want just nice patsies like uh, like the present administration. Just nice, quiet, calm. Yes, yes, sir, uh, patsies. And here is the mood when they meet. 
Uh, here's the mood of the White House staff when Trump comes to meet. You can tell it on their face what, um, how they view the incoming president. Here's the interior staff. Look at the lady in the back. Oh, this is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Here is Huma Abedin weeping on her way to work in Brooklyn. Hillary concedes wearing purple. What is this? I don't know, but it's a statement. Have you ever seen Bill Clinton wear a purple necktie? I haven't. Uh, what is this? Um, is it the Purple Revolution? Nigel Farage wrote a book, The Purple Revolution, and he said it was the, it was the year that the world changed concerning the Brexit. Now, are, they, are, are the Clintons here calling for a year that the world changes? Only this would not be a, a Nigel Farage kind of change, which is a, a, a nationalist change. They want a globalist change. Are they telling the globalists to bring it on? In the wake of the election, populism uh, has, has increased. Uh, the populism all over the globe has increased. Uh, from the Philippines to Europe to to uh, Iceland to uh, Canada all over there are the the people are saying huh maybe we can take back our government we don't want to be globalists having somebody unelected in some distant city telling us how uh, loudly we can play our bagpipes which is what Brussels was telling um, the bagpipes bagpipers in in the UK the control is minute uh, uh, so th we're at a dangerous junk juncture. The globalists know it's now or never. Uh, I think the the powers of the globalists they know that uh, God is on the move. Uh, he is, uh, a and so they have to be on the move if they're going to counter this, or they would lose forever. Uh, evil will not go quietly into the night. Here's John Kerry in Antarctica. Um, uh, why is that? Uh, here we have a man that would undo uh, everything that has been done in the United States thus far. At least he says he would. Uh, and now why do we have Kerry in America? Uh, here we have uh, Obama visited Antarctica earlier this year. And now we have, uh, and then we had Kirill. He is the head of Eastern Orthodoxy and uh, he's a, a bishop uh, Eastern Orthodox Bishop of Moscow here. He visits Antarctica. Uh, and what, are, what are these people doing down there? Why does everybody has to have to go? Uh, why are so many shakers and movers of the world, globalist figures, down in Antarctica? Uh, and here is Kerry lacing up recently. He was just there a few days ago. Uh, what's in Antarctica? Uh, Admiral Byrd, when he went down there, he was sent by President Truman. He said he was fired upon by laser-packing flying disks. Uh, uh, is there an alien base down there? Don't be deceived. Aliens are not aliens from a, a you know, a, a, some something reticula. Uh, they're demons. They are demons inhabiting these bodies. Uh, please go to uh, this. Um, a uh, YouTube site to uh, view a documentary. Russian produced, they're much more open. Uh, there are English subtitles on the Admiral Byrd uh, experience down there. Uh, read Admiral Byrd's diary. He had some very strange experiences where he went flying. He was suddenly, apparently, in a different world. Um, uh, uh, Putin is telling Obama must tell the world of aliens or I will. And Prime Minister Medvedev is on a Russian speaking uh, interview. Uh, again, English type subtitles saying we're not alone. The interviewer uh, is, is trying to hold back her, her chuckles, but this is for real. Please do not be deceived. We are not alone. The aliens are demons and they are ready um, as some people are saying that the reason these people went to the Antarctica was to meet with the head uh, demon down there and to get uh, marching orders on what is to come and to uh, get agreement uh, between the globalists and the entities that are down there. Are they 
there are reports there are Nephilim down there, and that is how the Nazis that were down there got the advanced technology. That's how they were able. And there are many pictures uh, uh, on uh, many YouTube videos, uh, documentaries, such as the one uh, you see right here, that show pictures of the Nazis down there building uh, these anti-gravity discs. Where'd they get that technology? Uh, and and uh, many are saying that there is an alien invasion plan to counter the global the global populist movement. The aliens, or the quotes, the demons, uh, but if I say demons, you won't know. So I'll just say aliens, but they're not aliens. They're not from any place else. They were cast down to this earth. Uh, they are, uh, and many writers, Helen Blavatsky uh, and many other people who have been visited, uh, abducted by these, they say they are returning, they are cr our creators, they, um, in, but their DNA is um, corrupted and they need to uh, revitalize their DNA pool by interbreeding with mankind, that's the days of Noah all over again. And that in exchange for the permission to interbreed with human beings, they uh, will help the human uh, race get back to its lost state of perfection. Now, there's some truth in this. Yes, we were once perfect, but they, uh, they're they not, <laughs> demons cannot get us back to that original state of love and, and, and harmony. Uh, they're going to be liars. I know it sounds far-fetched. Please, please investigate this. Please don't write this off as a pure... Uh, 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 lunacy. Uh, the, 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 the movies used to be that when they come, it's horror and terror. Uh, but now the movie coming out, Arrival, they're presenting them as smart, as helpful, uh, and as useful to the human race. And that is just out now. Remember, uh, Christ tells us, Yeshua tells us, do not be deceived. He tells us multiple times, do not be deceived. These people are not our creators. They cannot help us uh, in any way. And they will offer us all kinds of candy that we can live forever, just uh, accept the chip, that we can speak many languages. Our, our bodies can be healed. The, 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 the ones that are, can't walk, uh, they can be helped to walk again. Uh, all these little autistic children, uh, they'll, the, the mothers will be lining up to get their children implanted with something so they won't be autistic anymore. They're going to offer the human race all manner of, 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 of marketing uh, tools uh, in order to get them, uh, the ultimate goal is to get control of their minds, to get control of their free will. Please listen to this. Here's Dave, Dave Saw Hodges and Ted Brewer on the Common Sense Show recently. Uh, here is where you can see it. Uh, yesterday, I interviewed Stephen Ben Noon. He is uh, a Jewish Christian believer, Jewish believer in Yeshua. Uh, he is in the East. His wife is Russian Ukrainian. He is Jewish. He has many, many, many contacts. They had just finished interviewing an American, highly placed attorney who was on his way back to the United States after conferences in Russia. Uh, and he, they were in. Evidently, they had access. I don't know much about who he is. Uh, Stephen wanted to make uh, cover up his identity in order for, uh, to cover his safety, but he said there were massive shipments uh, of arms, weapons, including he. Uh, Stephen thought shoulder-held uh, missiles being shipped to Chicago in order to start a Muslim revolution. And of course, the Muslim re revolution would be. Um, aided by every disenfranchised, leftist, angry, godless person in the United States. The Black Lives Matter, the communists, the, the, uh, everybody who's mad uh, would, would certainly be there and would love to get some of this power. And th here is the URL where you can uh, get that interview. Uh, and remember what Dudermann said, and here is the, uh, where, you, where you can access this. The Russian spies have discovered where the nuclear house, warehouses are in America. This is what the angel is telling Dudermann when he's, when he's just He's, he's he's recently to America. His children do not have beds to sleep in, and he is absolutely, after being tortured nearly to death in his in his uh, home country, he is at the end of his rope. And the angel comes and talks to him, uh, and the angel warns, "You are br you're brought here to warn the Americans because I love the Americans." From the middle of the country, some people will start fighting. The government uh, will be busy with internal uh, problems. 
then from the uh -huh, from the um uh, ocean i don't know how goo got in there uh just from the ocean from cuba from nicaragua um they will uh they will bomb the nuclear warehouses and they were exposed america will burn uh, so uh, he, uh, Dudemann foresaw this. Uh, uh, these are submarines that are outside of our country in international waters, and they will fire missiles upon this country. Please be prepared. Please do not be deceived. If this this globalism versus nationalism is uh, this is a big war. The globalists know they're in war. They have no intention. Two interviewees by uh, Stephen and Yana, they're in um, uh, uh, Ukraine, Russia, uh, have said that it is their opinion. And one of them was this highly uh, placed, um, highly placed uh, attorney, American attorney, who said that the globalists have no intention of allowing Trump to serve. So uh, please pray for his safety. And please, let's not put our trust in man. Let's put our pr trust in our Messiah. Keep our eyes on Messiah. Everybody is hyped up over the man Trump. Please don't do that. Uh, d p prepare yourselves to be disappointed. Uh, if he gets to serve, that's wonderful. Uh, evidently, we have some more time. If he doesn't get to serve and we go into chaos, just keep your eyes on Yeshua. That is our ultimate salvation. He knows who to save and who to, who, who to uh, allow to be judged. So please be safe. Uh, and we shall see you next week.